my wife back, Cardi, you know what I'm saying? We're going through a lot of things right now, a lot of things in the media. I want to apologize to you, Cardi. You know, I embarrassed you. I made you look crazy. Doing things, I ain't had no business. I was partaking in activity that I shouldn't have been taking in. Cardi B allegedly drains Offset's bank account. I'm like, damn. You was out here doing what you was doing allegedly, and Cardi B got access to your bank account, my Y'all, not Offset begging Cardi to take him back less than one month after he started acting up. Well, Cardi just showed out that she is not the person you want to play with. And Offset learned this the hard way because Cardi B came for his sh money and she left him broke as F after he cheated on her with her greatest op. It looks like Offset has finally learned his lesson because he is back on his knees begging for forgiveness. So does this mean that Cardi is done for real or is she going to take him back for the millionth time? Watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to, yo, really like to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when I when I'm not the most confident. They like he like to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. So it looks like Offset is finally realizing just how badly he messed up with Cardi B and them tables have turned because he is now begging for Cardi to take him back. Now we've all known for a long time that Cardi is not the one you play with. I mean, she alone said, be careful with me. But Offset clearly didn't get that memo on this because he effed around and he definitely found out. Now he probably thought that it was going to be like the other times that he cheated on her and she let it go and took him back without any major consequences. I mean, fans literally named him off to cheat because he just can't bring himself to stop cheating on her. Now, he has been embarrassing Cardi for the longest time, and that's why she chose to hide their relationship when they first started dating. She even went over and beyond to hide their marriage because he had cheated on her only a couple of weeks before they got married, and it was embarrassing for her. Now, this is why she got so upset when TMZ leaked her marriage license, and then she went on a rant talking about how her privacy was being invaded. She said, There are so many moments moments that I share with the world and then there are moments that I want to keep for myself. Getting married was one of those moments. Our relationship was so new breaking up and making up and we had a lot of growing up to do but we were so in love we didn't want to lose each other. It was one morning in September we woke up and decided to get married. We found someone to marry us and she did just the two of us and my cousin and I said I do with no dress no makeup and no ring. But y'all from the things that we have seen so far it's easy to understand why she wouldn't want to keep the relationship low key because listen offset has cheated on her so many times and even though he acts all remorseful and stuff he goes right back to doing the same old thing he even got caught trying to organize a threesome with cuban doll when cardi was pregnant he said i want you and cuban can you make that happen i go to new orleans tomorrow i'll fly y'all i'll fly her there say on saturday the cuban doll also shaded cardi over this on twitter writing i pray a man don't marry me just to cheat on me that's next level disrespect girl shut up we never had a problem until you dry tweeted that stuff about me me and you ain't been cool since offset was trying to sleep with me so not only was offset a known cheat but his side pieces were super embarrassing and they often shaded cardi on social media or they straight up exposed their affair even after cardi had gone over and above trying to hide it for example back in 2018 cardi filed for divorce things just haven't been working out between us for a long Long time and it's nobody's fault it's just like I guess we grew out of love but we're not together anymore she claimed that she and Offset had just grown apart but they would always be friends and blah 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 but then his side piece that nobody knew about came out to expose their affair I have not messed with Offset since he's had his baby um, I didn't know how serious this marriage was um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but um, I haven't like, I, it took until today to actually like get into this, um, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, yo, like, um, I took Cardi B's name or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything. Like, I feel 
um, ashamed. But his side pieces weren't the only people he allowed to disrespect Cardi because his family acts very disrespectful to her as well. After Cardi filed for divorce in 2015, his father went on a rant where he basically called Cardi a bad person for filing. He went on and on saying, the social media is a powerful tool, but certainly no place for family situations. However, our youth, specifically my son's wife, doesn't understand that. She seems to want to take everything to social media without regard to the devastation it has on others, past, present, and future, or specifically what it does to the other children. My son is not innocent, as he has done his share of dirt, but the whole scenario is a never-ending drama session. He continued, it's tick for tack, mudslinging, situation fueled by jealousy, envy, insecurity, psychological issues, etc. Like most young adults, he doesn't always do what he's advised to do, but we are talking about a 25-year-old with an unlimited supply of money, women chasing him, people at his disposal, etc. Couple that with a high-headed female that thrives off of social media attention and is on the same financial level as or above him? It's a recipe for disaster. Now it's crazy how he went on and on about Cardi without once talking about Offset cheating, really. Without really saying Offset Offset needed to take accountability because he defended Offset, talking about how he was young and had women throwing themselves at him and blah blah blah. Now that wasn't the last time Offset cheated though, cause he has been caught cheating a couple times after that. Like he was literally accused of having an affair with Saweetie, and the streets claimed that Cardi got Saweetie kicked off a of Glorilla's FNF remix over that. But Cardi continued to stick beside him and even defended him multiple times. She had said stuff like, it's like everybody is coming down my neck like, why are you not leaving him? I'm rich, I know I'm talented. I know I could get any man I want, but I want to work out my issues with my man. And I don't gotta explain why. This is my life. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to decide on my decision. It's not right what he did, but people don't know what I did because I ain't no angel. Or when she said, well, if people are talking about it and keep asking me how I feel about the situation, why not let them know? Right or wrong? No, it's not right for a man to cheat, but what do you want me to do? Go sleep with another man? Man, start all over again and get cheated on again? This stuff happens to everyone and it could be you too. People handle their relationship different, so. But he finally went too far when he cheated on her with Jade again. Remember Jade, the bartender who got tangled up with Cardi a couple years ago over Offset? Cardi went ballistic on Jade at the time and paid to have her and her sisters beaten up. Cardi caught charges, narrowly dodged serious consequences, but ended up with some community service, only for Offset to start messing with the same same woman? Yeah, that is nasty, nasty business. Now, Offset and Cardi are separated, and Cardi herself made the announcement. I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to, like, I'm not afraid, I just don't know how, like, to tell the world. But come on, y'all. Just because she and Offset are split up doesn't mean that he should be going around publicly with the same woman that Cardi got charges over. That's diabolical. Especially because the streets are now saying that Jade is the reason they split up in the first place. Offset has allegedly been messing with her behind the scenes after Cardi caught the charges, and that's why Cardi left him. Now, for those of you who missed that drama, we started getting suspicious a few days back when she popped up at Offset's 32nd birthday party. The same party he didn't invite Cardi to. Cardi was so hurt that she went on a rant and called Offset out for being trifling. Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch, watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to, yo, really like to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when, I, when I'm not the most confident and I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been f***ing feeling yourself f***ing nigga because of your f***ing album and shit. And you've really been f***ing doing me dirty after so many f***ing years that I'm f***ing up your ass. Not even a f***ing thank you that I got for your f***ing And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the f***ing internet because whenever I f***ing tell you something, you don't take me seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm f***ing tired of this 
Now, Jay tried to deny that she was together with him, saying, I was out eating at a public restaurant. I was not at that week at party. Now, leave me the F alone. But a lot of people didn't buy this, especially since Offset's sister kind of confirmed this. Now, y'all know how I said that Offset's family does not respect Cardi at all? Well, Offset's sister, Hefe, came out to publicly defend him for cheating, and she put Cardi on blast. She retweeted this post that said, Women really be wanting you to be rich and not cheat. Just irrational. <laughs> and she commented, They really are. Just a man. She also said, Y'all do know can no one make you happy but you, right? Then there's this tweet that said, Cardi is the perfect example of a woman doing everything a man desires and still being mistreated. She works as set open as he desires, helps with his outside children. Well, Offset's sister replied and said, Always remember that the people tweeting stuff like this, and I cannot stress this enough, do not know these people. She then said, Child, she said she was single. How she hurt all of a sudden? She also asked people to stop talking about her brother in a bad way, saying, Y'all gonna stop narrating my brother out to be a bad guy. My boy can't ever enjoy his birthday or Christmas, like. But this was peak disrespect, and Cardi finally had enough of this, so she started fighting back. And if there's one thing about Miss Cardi B, it's that she's hella petty and does fight dirty. And that's what she did here. Word on the streets is that not only is she dumping Offset for good, but she's doing it with no mercy and hitting him where it really hurts the most, his wallet. Now we all know that Offset and Cardi are pretty rich people. I mean, super rich. But as it turns out, Cardi is way richer than Offset is. Not only is she pulling in a lot of money as one of the hottest female rappers right now, but she is also super smart with her money. And she has made some pretty smart money moves. Well, Offset on the other hand is not doing that well right now. I mean, sure, he's far from being broke broke, but he hasn't been pulling in much money since he's been solo. He's doing like, okay. But nobody's really been checking for him after the Migos broke up. So Cardi's over putting up with Offset's antics while he's tapping into her hard earned money. She just wiped those bank accounts nice and clean, saying hasta la vista to letting him ride on her success while acting up. This is a major power move and Cardi is serving notice that she's not one to mess with, especially when it comes to her shmoney. Well, according to an insider, Cardi made most of the money for the family. She's all about saving and investing. Offset is about spending wildly. So while they both made a lot of money during the marriage, most of the money they have now is Cardi's. And by most, I mean like 95% of it. And it's not just money that Cardi has, it's real estate. They own a home in Atlanta where Cardi and the children stay. And they have a home in New Jersey where Cardi's mother stays. She's getting both of those homes. Without Cardi's money, Offset is nowhere near as wealthy as he portrays. That man spends money like water and he's not even hot like that anymore. Watch what his life ends up looking like without Cardi. And it looks like Offset is finally realizing that Cardi means business because insiders are now claiming that he is allegedly begging Cardi to take him back and forgive him. According to an insider, he suddenly came to the realization about how much he needs and loves Cardi and wants to remain one family unit for their kids and stay married. Another insider added that Offset has been offering all kinds of solutions, including couples therapy and all sorts of stuff. However, fans are calling pure BS on all this because they believe that he's only apologizing because he doesn't want to go broke and he knows that he needs Cardi to survive. They've been leaving comments saying, I'm very surprised that Cardi queen of never giving a ninja nothing was sharing her money with Offset to make herself look like he was a baller who was spoiling her. Offset ain't got no money for real without Cardi. Shaking my head, Karma finna eat him up. And Cardi be left offset because he can't pay rent. Cardi really said, broke boys don't deserve no pee. I know that's right, but I gotta know what y'all think about this. Do you think that Cardi is gonna take offset back like usual? Or do you think that she's gonna stand on business this time? Let me know what y'all think about this crazy situation and drop your comments and thoughts below.